Good morning, dear students. Today, let us take a look at this question 3.12b from Erodo. You can find many solutions for this question online. What I want to offer here is a visual perspective which makes the question very easy to solve. In brief, there is an electrically charged ring whose linear charge density varies as lambda equal to lambda naught cos phi. We need to find the electric field due to this ring at a distance x from its center. Here I have given a blue color to positive charge and a red color to negative charge. Putting phi equal to 0, we get lambda equal to lambda naught. So at phi equal to 0, we have maximum linear charge density. Putting phi equal to 90 degrees, we get lambda equal to 0. So that is why I have put a white color here. So maximum charge here and this charge density is decreasing and becoming 0 here. As the linear charge density is varying, we need to take a small charge dq here, find the field due to this dq at x and then integrate. The field due to this charge dq at this point is de r cap where r cap is a unit vector in this direction. The reason this question is tough is because for each dq the de varies and also this r cap varies and it becomes difficult to predict the direction of the final electric field at this point. The value of dE is k dq by r square. So k dq by r square. We can write r cap as yellow vector plus pink vector divided by r. Now let us draw many field lines here due to different dQs and see how it becomes really easy to solve. Here I have drawn field lines due to dq taken at different points on the ring. The blue arrows represent the field due to positive charge and the red arrows represent the field due to negative charge. Now I'll play the schematic and observe if you can find any symmetry. You can observe that these field lines form a cone kind of shape with some symmetry. Observe these two views here and here. From this diagram, we can see the z component of blue and red vectors cancel out each other and also the y component of the blue vectors and the red vectors cancel out. From this view, we can say that the net electric field here will be in the negative x direction. Now here comes the interesting part. Going back to our original equation, we can say that there will only be an x component. The y component and the z component, we can neglect. No need to solve these two, we can just put them as 0. We can say that the net field at that point will be integral d r cos phi by r. Total field will be integral k dq by r square r cos phi by r. This phi, this phi here is varying from 0 to 2 pi. Putting the value of dq as lambda naught cos phi into r d phi. In the next step, I'm moving the constants out of the integral and we have integral cos square phi d phi. In the sine square phi versus phi graph, we know the area under each of this bump is pi by 2. As cos square phi has a similar profile as sine square phi from 0 to 2 pi, so we can say integral of this will be pi by 2 plus pi by 2 which is pi. So the final value of field is k lambda naught r square pi by r cube. Writing this in terms of a known variables, we get final answer as lambda naught r square by 4 epsilon naught into x square plus r square per 3 by 2 towards negative x.